In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Reloom AI Site Builder, which is a brand new tool by Reloom that will allow you to go from idea for a website to sitemap to wireframes with copy in a matter of minutes. This tool is going to be an absolute game changer for anyone building websites. So if you are interested in speeding up your workflows, stick around and without further ado, let's get into it. Hey friends, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So Reloom just launched a brand new tool called the AI Site Builder. Now, as you probably know, I'm a huge fan of Reloom. I've used Reloom for years and I've also made quite a few videos on this channel breaking down different features that they have launched that have really sped up the process for building websites. But what they have launched here is something that will completely blow your mind. In fact, I'm gonna go as fast as say that anyone who is currently building websites, whether with Webflow or not, is going to make this tool here a staple in their stack when it comes to designing and building websites. Now, just in case you are brand new to web design, let's break down how the web design process usually works. Think of building a website like building a house. Before you start, you need a plan. That's your sitemap. It's a map of all the rooms, or in our case, pages, your website will have. Once you have that plan, you need a basic structure or sketch of how each room, in our case, page, will look. That's the wireframe. It's like a blueprint for every room. After you have your blueprint, you fill each room with furniture and decorations, which in the web world means the words and images. This is the copywriting part. Now, as you can imagine, this typically takes quite a lot of time, but this is where the AI site builder comes in. You give it an idea and that idea then turns into a sitemap, which then translates into wireframes. And then once you have your wireframes, Reloom AI site builder will automatically populate your wireframes with copy. This tool will completely speed up and transform your workflows for going through those crucial steps of planning out a website. So whether you are just getting into building websites or you've built a million websites before this, let's break down the exact steps that you'll have to go through in order to use Reloom's AI Site Builder in order to create a site. First things first, head over to the Reloom library and then navigate your way over to the Site Builder tool. In here, what you can do is you can simply add a prompt describing what kind of website you want to build. And from there, all you need to do is click Generate. Now, as soon as you've added your prompt, you'll get redirected to the sitemap page, which will then allow you to specify how many pages you want to create as part of your sitemap. As soon as you've figured out how many pages you need, just click on generate and let the magic happen. Reloom will create the sitemap with your homepage first. And if you are happy with the results, you can just continue to generate all of these sections for your other pages by clicking on continue generating pages. If at any point you're unhappy with the results that are being generated, you can simply stop this workflow and click on rerun and it will then start regenerating a new sitemap for you. Now, as soon as your sitemap is fully generated, you'll be able to start making your own tweaks and adjustments to the sitemap that was created. For example, if you want to reorder the order of a section, you can simply drag it into place. If you want to change what a particular section is about, you can just zoom in and change the description of the section. If you want to add a brand new section, you can simply click on the plus button and browse through all of the different sections that are available inside of Reloom. And as soon as all of that is done you're ready to move on to the next step which is to create the wireframes all we need to do in order to convert this sitemap into wireframes is to click on the wireframe button in the navigation and just like that you'll see how your sitemap is translated into individual wireframes for the different pages that your sitemap created now, if we take a closer look at the wireframes that were created, you'll notice that not just were the individual sections created as per our sitemap, all of the copy fits exactly the description of the website that we added at the beginning of this workflow. And just like that, we have gone from an idea for a website to having a sitemap, wireframes, and copy for our website, a process that used to take days, if not weeks, created with a few clicks. 
Next, let's talk about tweaking your wireframes. Let's say you have your wireframes, you have your copies, but now you wanna make some changes. How hard or how easy is it? It turns out it's actually very straightforward. Let's say we want to change out this section here. All you need to do is to simply click into the section that you wanna change, then navigate your way over to the section details button, and then you can simply click on replace component to simply see what other components you can put in its place. And what about copy? Let's say we are not 100% happy with the copy that was generated here. Let's say we want to focus our feature section on different features that we have. All you need to do is again, click into the section, then head on over to the uh, section detail section, and then simply change what the features are that you want to list. So I'm going to replace high speed internet, 24 seven access and comfortable workstations with location, community and amenities. As soon as I have specified my changes, all I need to do is click on generate copy and Reloom will then rerun as copywriting uh, to basically make the adjustments that you have specified in your prompt. Now, on this note, I also want to quickly clarify that you currently can't change the individual text inside of Reloom. However, when you export this into either Figma or Webflow, you will be able to change the text to whatever it is that you want. Okay, then finally, what do you do if your wireframe is missing a crucial section? No problem. All you need to do is to simply select a section and then click on the purple plus section button and then select whatever section you need from the Reloom component library. It will automatically add at the section that you selected and you can then go ahead and go to the section details to generate copy for that section. Now, as soon as you're done tweaking your wireframes and your sitemap, it is time to export it into whatever tool you want to use. Now, there are two options, Figma and Webflow. Let's start with Figma. Now, in order to export our sitemap and our wireframes to Figma, we simply have to click on the export button in the top right corner and then click on export to Figma. Now, in order to export this to Figma, what you'll need is the Figma plugin for Reloom that will then automatically allow you to import your sitemap and your wireframes. Now, once you've installed the plugin, simply head into a new project and then launch the Reloom library plugin. Now, if you are going to do this inside of Figma, it is recommended that you use the Reloom library Figma kit because that will give you access to their style guide, which once again will speed up the process for you designing different elements inside of your wireframes. Now, in order to import our sitemap, what I'm gonna do is create a new page that I'm gonna call sitemap, and then I'm going to simply launch the Reloom library Figma plugin. From here, you'll have an overview of all of the different projects that you set up in the site builder. And here's the one that I wanna use. And in here, you'll see a list of all of the different sitemaps that you've created. Now, the one uh, that I'm gonna use is the primary sitemap. And in order for me to import it, all I need to do is click on add sitemap and you'll see immediately how my sitemap that I created in Reloom was added to Figma. Next, let's add our wireframes. Now, this process here is very similar. First of all, I'm going to create a new page inside of my Figma project. Then I'm going to launch the Reloom library plugin. And then from here, I'm gonna navigate my way to my project. And then I'm gonna click on add wireframe. Now, before I do that, if you want to create um, individual pages for your individual wireframes and you can just click into it and you'll be able to add a sitemap or a wireframe at the page level but in my case i want to add them all at once so i'm simply going to navigate my way to my sitemap and then click on add wireframe now you'll see immediately how all of my pages are being added you'll see that not just is there the desktop version of my wireframe but also the mobile version of it and now that you have everything in figma you're ready to start making whatever changes you want now typically what you can do at this stage is to start making changes to your wireframes this is a little bit beyond the scope of this video but reloom has some awesome resources on how you can start making changes to your style guide and that will then automatically apply to all of the different pages that you have in this project 
Okay, and now finally, let's say we don't want to use Figma and instead want to export this directly into Webflow. How exactly do you do this? Now, the process is kind of similar with the exception that you are now going to have to export every page individually. Now, like with Figma, it is recommended that you start off with the Reloom style guide so that you can quickly make changes to the styles within your project. But from here, as soon as you have your style guide imported, you can now start adding individual pages. So let's start off by importing the home page first. I'm going to start off by selecting my home page, then I'm going to navigate my way back to my Reloom wireframes and then I'm going to start uh, copying them over one by one. So the, how do you do that? First of all, select the entire page, then click on the three dots in the top right corner and simply click on copy to Webflow. Now, what this will do is it will copy it to your clipboard and you can then head back over into your Webflow project and you can simply paste what you added. So it will typically take a few seconds, but just like that, you will see that all of the sections were imported, all of the copy has been applied, and you're now ready to move on to add the next page. So what I'll do is I'll simply add a page called the About page. I'll navigate my way back into my Reloom project, and I will now simply copy this page. So we're gonna go ahead, click on Copy. We're gonna head back into our Webflow project. We're going to make sure that our uh, body is selected and then we are simply going to paste it and so on. So you can just go ahead, you can copy all of the different sections over and now the next part in the process will be to simply start making changes to your style guide. And this here again is going to be the way where you'll be able to make progress fastest because if you go ahead and change say the color of a button from bl uh, black to say red, then you'll see how those changes automatically apply to all of the different wireframes that you've imported into Webflow. And just like that, we have gone from idea to a Webflow publishable site that yes, to be fair, still has to be designed in a matter of minutes. This process would have typically taken days, if not weeks, in order to get it to this stage. So if you are someone who's thinking about building a website and you just need a little bit of an improved process that will allow you to move a lot faster when it comes to the planning process, then this tool is for you. Now, before we wrap things up, I have some thoughts that I want to share on all of this. First thing is, this here is one of the biggest moves that I've seen a no-code company make with AI tools. In fact, um, despite all of the AI hype going on, there have really been two companies that have stood out to me that have really pushed the envelope in terms of what you can do with no-code tools. Reloom is one of them, and I'll be making another video soon on another tool that has really been stepping up in that space. The second thing is what I hope to see from Reloom on their roadmap. Now let's be clear that the features that I'm going to be requesting here are merely things on my wish list. The way that they have been moving it has been incredible and hopefully this type of innovation continues from them because Reloom is really quickly turning into a must use tool for designers and developers online. Now, the features that I'd love to see going forward is a tool that automatically updates different icons within your wireframes. That is something that I think would be a neat to have. The other thing that I would love to see potentially inside of Reloom is a way to experiment with different colors. So if there is a way to potentially uh, import color schemes into a Reloom project, it will give us a good idea of how certain colors might work before we export it into either Webflow or Figma. And then finally, and this is just an opinion, but over the last few weeks, there's been a lot of talk about Framer AI and how you can use AI in order to quickly build landing pages. Now, it was definitely a neat tool, don't get me wrong, but this tool here, the AI Site Builder by Reloom, is essentially Webflow's answer to Framer AI. And it is really uh, amazing to see how 
different no-co companies are really leaning into AI in order to empower more people regardless of their technical expertise in order to create websites like this. So there's a lot to look forward to when it comes to this space in the future. Now, over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be diving into more tools that are leveraging AI in the no-code space in order to allow us as non-developers to create amazing tools online. So if you wanna learn more about it, please subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.